evening. So just peek outside and check it out. It's easy to see. Temperatures right now in the mid 70s here for the Front Range, 60s and 70s for the higher elevations and 80s out west toward Grand Junction. Our average afternoon high today is 71 degrees. The record is 89, set back in 1996. Now current wind gusts really not too bad across the state. This is one of the few days we haven't had any watches or warnings across Colorado, at least for the Front Range and the Plains. Now tomorrow the winds will pick back up into southern Colorado, so we have a red flag warning for Monday from Salida down into Alamosa and Trinidad. We also have an air quality warning here just off to the west of Colorado Springs, and this goes through tomorrow morning for particulates in the atmosphere from all the smoke that's been coming through this area. And we'll see even more smoke coming up from the south here uh, from New Mexico fires that are burning. So Pueblo to Alamosa to Trinidad by tomorrow morning will have some significant smoke in the area that will push off to the east, especially towards Springfield at 630 tomorrow night. We'll still have quite a bit of smoke in the air and we may see some hazy skies into Monday afternoon and evening. Uh, but other than that, it should push out as we get into Tuesday for sure. Here's our lunar eclipse forecast for tonight. We'll have temperatures in the 70s through 8 o'clock, then 60s after that. So as I mentioned, very comfortable conditions and this will be taking place between about 9 and 11 o'clock. And here in Denver, we'll see the total portion of the eclipse at about 10 11 tonight. So you'll be able to see this as you look outside and just check it out. And yes, it's a blood moon eclipse, so everything will turn red. 50 degrees tonight, partly cloudy skies. We'll have temperatures in the 50s as you wake up tomorrow morning around Metro Denver and into the southeastern part of the state, 30s and 40s for the higher elevations. Our hourly planner keeping us in the 60s through 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, then into the 70s getting past lunchtime. But we are expecting a high of 85 degrees tomorrow afternoon, about a 20 percent chance of scattered after afternoon thunderstorms. We have that little bit of a chance, but generally warm and uh pretty much partly cloudy here for the front range and then high fire danger for southern Colorado as those temperatures will be a little warmer right around 90 in Pueblo highs here around Denver in the mid to upper 80s stretching all the way up into the northeastern part of our state for the day. So it'll be dry and warm. We'll have a few scattered thunderstorms showing up Monday and then again into Tuesday afternoon. It's about a 20% chance each afternoon, so we'll keep an eye on it. But for the time being, it doesn't look like we'll have any good super soakers moving through, even though we really need the moisture temperatures will stay in the 80s for much of the week, even topping out at 88 degrees Thursday afternoon. We'll have some storms moving through on Friday. Our first cold front dropping us into the 70s. Then our next cold front taking us all the way down in the upper 50s. On